Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today we are doing a very important roundup, okay? I've been in my fragrance bag lately, okay? I've been giving you guys a lot of fragrance content because I love it and I'm gonna keep doing it because I love it. I didn't used to be a big fragrance content person. I would do my reviews here and there, but I think I'm gonna start incorporating more in my channel, okay? Obviously, we're still doing makeup, we're still doing skin, but I'm gonna try a lot of different things this year. But today, I'm so excited for today's video. Why? Because we are doing my roundup of the best of the best 2023 fragrance launches in my opinion this is my personal opinion okay you may agree with some you may disagree with some but i am here to give you my top 10 perfumes that all came out in the year of 2023 that i think are just masterpieces so if you guys are interested in seeing my ranking what i absolutely loved that came out from last year that's fragrance related then just go ahead and keep watching Okay, so first off, I have a whole leather jacket on. Who do I think I am? I got a leather jacket on. I've got my little Dior scarf. I'm trying to I'm trying to give vibes, okay? This is my second video that I'm filming today. The first one, I filmed my best of 2023 makeup edition, which would have already been up by the time this is up. So if you guys have not watched that, I will link it up above. Make sure you guys go check it out. Best of the best makeup products that came out or that I tried in 2023. It's a really good video. I highly recommend. Today it's all about the fragrances. It's about the smell goods, the perfumes, the you name it, all of that. So, okay, where do I begin? I don't want to be long-winded. We're going to, you guys have seen me talk about each and every one of these fragrances separately, either numerous times or at least once on this channel. So a lot of these are not going to be new to you guys. So yeah, just go ahead. Don't go, don't go look at the description box either because I know you probably will. And if you already have then you know what I want to talk about. <laughs> Alrighty, let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm going to first start off with three fragrances that are all from the same house. This house, this house really did it for 2023. This house, it was their year when it comes to perfumes because when I tell you they launched so many perfumes and a lot of them were so good, so good to the fact that I have three out of all of the ones that they launched in 2023 in my top favorites of 2023. So I'm going to go first start off with Navitas perfumes. I was introduced to Navitas in the beginning of the, I want to say in May. May is when I got my first perfume from the house of Navitas and boy, boy, I did not know what was coming. I did not know I was about to unlock a beast, okay, because I have I think I have seven perfumes now from them. I'm going to do a dedicated video on all the perfumes that I have from Navitas because I feel like I have almost all of them or a lot. I do have a lot of them and I have a lot of thoughts. But yes, this is the first fragrance that introduced me to this fragrance house. And once I smelled this, I said, this is about to be my new favorite house. But this perfume, Navitas Perfumes in collaboration with AI the Great, Ambrosia Imperial. This was a winner for 2023 i mean it is just so different it's a banana note perfume but it's very sexy has saffron there's um there's musk there's vanilla in here there's banana there's rum there's there's just a lot going on in this perfume but it's so so beautiful it is blended very very well it is very unique i have never ever smelled anything like this before in my life and this is like the this is the only perfume that i have in my collection that smells like this i've never smelled anything banana fragrance or i don't have perfumes that have banana in it so i was very interested in seeing how this was gonna smell and when i tell you love at first sniff like i've had this since it came out and clearly you can see i have not put that big of a dent in it because it's so strong and it wears so well you do not need a lot this perfume is amazing. Like it's sexy, it's fruity, it's intoxicating. I feel like it's an all year round fragrance, which is another plus. I mean, there's just, I've talked about this so many times on this channel. I'm just gonna stop talking about it now because you guys already know how I feel about this. AI the Great, you're watching this. You did amazing with this collaboration. It was a 10 out of 10. 
first launch for you and now you have two fragrances with them and I think you're coming out with a third one. So hey, I'm interested to see what you come out with this year, but this was definitely amazing and deserves all of the praise because I think it really shook up the girlies and did what it needed to do. So I had to had to mention this fragrance for my top 2023 favorites because it, it just deserves its spotlight, okay? Next perfume from Navitas is a one that is newer. It came out in December, early December, late November. I think early December is when it came out. So I've only had this in my collection for about a month. But when I tell you, this fragrance is divine. Divine! It is so good. This is Navitas Perfumes baklava royale in collaboration with gabby loves perfumes here on youtube you guys have never seen me talk about it so this is my first time talking about it on the channel this fragrance is stunning okay i'm not gonna talk about too much of the notes in all of these because i don't want it to be super long but i'm gonna kind of give you what i pick up when i smell the perfume and what vibes it gives me but this is a sexy creamy very almondy. It has pistachio in here. This is a pistachio heavy fragrance. There's pistachio. There's orange blossom. There is tonka. There is coffee, I think. Don't don't quote me on that. There's vanilla. Um, oh, Jesus. This is just beautiful. It's supposed to smell like baklava. I've never had baklava before. I heard it's really, really good. And I heard it's super duper sweet. But when I tell you this fragrance, it's not sweet to me. Like it's sweet, but it's like, it's not, that. that's not what I would first describe it as, as a sweet fragrance. It's nutty, very, very nutty. If you're into nutty fragrances, if you love that almondy kind of note, nuts, like this is kind of the vibe that you get, but it's sexy, it's creamy, it's smooth. It's, I feel like you could wear this all year round. The longevity is amazing. It smells beautiful. If you love pistachio as a note, this is a no-brainer. This is an amazing, amazing launch that they came out with. I wasn't going to pick it up because I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to like it. But baby, I'm so happy I got my hands on it because this is one of my favorites from the house. Whew, it's just stunning. And it's unique. It's just unique. I don't think I've smelled any. This one thing about Navitas perfumes. Listen, Navitas, if you're watching this, just know I love y'all, okay? Put me on that PR list. <laughs> But no, for real, their house, they kill it when it comes to their fragrances. Just amazing, nutty, pistachio, beautiful, sweet, warm, sexy goodness. Get your hands on Baklava Royale. Definitely worth it and has earned a spot in my top 2023 favorite perfume launches because it's just decadent. It's divine. Alrighty, and the last perfume that won me over from the house of Navitas also came out last year towards the end of the year and this is a vanilla based perfume you already know what i'm about to talk to you guys about none other but mani Kasanad. this one whoo toasted vanilla fire burning roasty like wood woody goodness that's what i get from this it's, it's a different kind of vanilla if you love by the fireplace from um what is it my son Margiela you're gonna like this it gives not that they're not the same at all don't get me wrong this is very vanilla like it's vanilla ice cream but it has like a toasted kind of like woodiness to it but it's still airy at the same time because it has a muskiness to it there's vanilla caviar there's vanilla ice cream there's musk in this there's whipped cream I think there's um amber there's amber wood cashmere Oh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous vanilla, vanilla scent. If you love gourmands, if you love vanillas, you are going to be obsessed with Mani Kasanad. I will make sure that I link all these perfumes that I'm talking about in the description box below so you guys can get your hands on them. When I tell you the girlies were anticipating this perfume, when Sharita told us she was coming out with it, and when she told us it was a vanilla-based perfume, you know the vanilla girls go hard for their vanilla. They are ride or die, okay, for vanilla. And this did not disappoint, Sharita. You killed it with this launch. Has made it to my top 2023 perfume launches, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in a lot of other people's lists because it's just a gorgeous vanilla. It's very long-wearing, very creamy, very sweet, gourmand, toasty, woody, just, ugh, all the goodness, just amazing. 
definitely get your nose on this. It's so, so, so good. Next, we're gonna jump into a designer fragrance. This is my only designer perfume from this list. So when I say designer, I mean, it's launched from a designer perfume brand. Designer is basically, they do perfume, makeup, all of that. So this is, I wasn't sure if I was gonna put this on this list, but you, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. Is it the most mind blowing, most unique, most gorgeous, must have smelling thing in life? No, it's beautiful. But I had to mention it in this list because I had to give it its props. You know, sometimes some things you may not, you may not think that it's as great as other people think, but you gotta give credit where credit is due. And I am talking about Burberry Goddess, okay? I love this fragrance. It's a beautiful vanilla fragrance. One thing about 2023, it was the year of vanillas. And I am gonna film my top favorite vanilla perfumes so keep on the lookout that video will come very very soon i will be filming it so if you guys love vanillas just know it's coming your way last year was also the year that designer perfume houses started to dip their toes into gourmand fragrances they're trying to be gourmand girlies they're realizing that hey people are kind of tired of flowers like we don't not everybody loves a good floral fragrance not everybody loves a good clean fresh fragrance they realized that the hype is where the gourmands are at and they tried it okay they really tried some some worked some didn't but i will say burberry goddess really did the damn thing it's a beautiful fragrance it's vanilla based it's fresh there's vanilla in this vanilla caviar there's lavender so it gives it like a nice fresh kind of vibe to it I think this is gonna work all year round, specifically in the summer, gorgeous in the summer. I love, love, love this. The packaging is really, really pretty sophisticated. It's classy. They just really did their thing with this and I feel like I had to give it its credit. Is it, like I said, is it my most favorite vanilla fragrance? No, but I love it and for a designer house, oh yeah, this smells amazing for designer fragrance because you know, designers they're iffy okay but they did the damn thing with this definitely check this out if you have not already you can smell it at sephora if you love vanillas check this out it's a beautiful warm vanilla scent that has like a fresh upliftingness to it and i just think it's gorgeous and a very cloud proud pleasing so definitely check this out if you've never smelled it before next we are going to talk about a one-off fragrance this came out in the summertime and i had it on my wish list for a couple of weeks and then i finally decided to pull the plug and get it and when i tell you this is the most gorgeous mango fruity kind of gourmand-ish sexy grown-up fragrance i've ever smelled in my life like i didn't know fruity fragrances can be sexy and grown and this this basically it basically told me that that's possible i am talking about memoirs of a perfume collector and this is trouble in paradise if you guys have never heard of this perfume house they have a lot of great perfumes you can get this on their website or on lucky scent i think this is where i got this from this if you love mango if you love mango fragrances you are going to be obsessed with this this is a beautiful fragrance for all year round if you love fruities fruity fragrances but summertime oh yeah this is the summer fragrance like to have it is gorgeous there is mango there is oud in this but you don't smell oud okay there's a lot of notes in this actually you know what this is the one fragrance i'm going to pull up the notes because I know there's a lot of layers to this fragrance, but it is blended so well. Like Trouble in Paradise is a tropical, fruity, sweet, sexy fragrance. Um, there's a lot of notes in this. There is mango, bergamot, cardamom, cognac. There's leather, there's rum, there's caramel, there's violet. There's oud, amber, sandalwood, moss, and animalic notes, okay? I had to tell you guys the notes in this because there's a lot in here, but when I tell you it is blended so beautifully. You definitely get the mango. The mango is there throughout the fragrance. It's a mango based fragrance. So if you don't like the mango note, I don't know if I would try this if I were you, but if you do, if you do, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. It is sexy. You get the sweetness, you get the caramel, you get the oud, the sandalwood, the saffron, the cognac. Like the notes sound so all over the place but they create the most beautiful, sexiest, mango, juicy, 
just goodness. Like this is what I would wear on a date night in the summer or like if I'm in like a tropical place, like, oh my God, this is beautiful. And I felt like it deserved to be in this roundup of my top 2023 fragrance launches because when I tell you unique, gorgeous longevity is there smells absolutely divine for hours and hours and hours and it's just beautiful so if you love fruity fragrances sweet tropical fragrances but you want it to be more elevated sexy grown not childlike get your nose on this because you will be very surprised you will be very very surprised and just 10 out of 10 absolutely amazing next we are going to talk about a fragrance that i've had in my collection for a couple of months it launched earlier in the year, but I did not get my hands and nose on it until later towards the year in like early fall. But once I got my nose on it, I said, you know what? We got to cop this. There's very few fragrances that I sample and I'm like, oh, I need to order this ASAP. Like ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. I don't care if I pay full price. Like it's that good. And this is one of them. I am talking about Amouage Guidance. This I'm sure if you are a perfume girl, you know about Amouage. If you don't, you must be under the rock <laughs> because this is one of, this was one of the most hyped up fragrances of last year. Still is, okay? It's one of the most polarizing, but one of the most hyped up fragrances. So interesting. But when I tell you it deserves all the praise it's getting, this is a compliment magnet compliment magnet and when i tell you beast mode beast mode there is lots of different notes in here there's vanilla there's akigala wood there's hazelnut so it's a nutty sweet vanilla kind of um resin i don't even know there's a lot of there's a lot that's going on in here it's hard to explain how guidance smells like you have to get your nose on it sample it if you can Trust me, sample it if you can, because you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. I've not seen people who are like, mm, it's okay. Like, you either absolutely love it or you absolutely are like, <laughs> it's very polarizing. But when I tell you I'm obsessed, whoo, oh, when I wear this, I, I mix this with fragrances. But honestly, I don't even know why I do that, because it's going to overtake everything. You will put this on and it will be stuck to you like a toddler that wants attention. It is not going anywhere. Even if you shower, it's still gonna smell hints of it. Like it is super duper powerful, super duper beast mode. Very, very compliment getter. It's very, it's a feminine fragrance. I feel like men can wear this, but this is a ultra feminine fragrance in my opinion. I feel like you like, if you like Delina um, exclusive, you would like this it's not in the same they're not the same fragrance but if you like delina exclusive it gives me you it's you could like this okay because this is more powdery it's nutty um it's it's very unique but it's stunning and had to be included in this list definitely get your nose on this i highly recommend it's one of my favorite perfumes in my collection it's in my top 10 in my collection just that good just that good. Amouage Guidance is that girl. Next, we're going to get into two fragrances. They're both from the same fragrance house. And these fragrances really knocked me off my feet last year, okay? Especially one of them. One of them really had us concerned, okay? We were like, whoa, Mona, what are you, whoa, 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 in limited edition? Girl, what are you doing? Okay, you heard me say Mona, so yes, the two of these next perfumes are from Kayali, and I feel like they are both stunning, and she did amazing on both of these. She, first of all, Kayali, 2023 was the year of Kayali, just like 2023 is the year of Navitas, it was the year of Kayali, because they came out with hella perfumes, and they were killing it back to back, back to back, back to back, but there was something about these two that just... I had to, they, they were they were my top favorites from what they launched from last year. The first one, none other, you already know, Kayali's Wedding Silk Santal. This came, swooped all the girls off their feet and just left us brokenhearted. <laughs> That's literally what this perfume did because it's limited edition. And when I tell you it was sold out, it was sold out. And we were like, oh my God, this is never coming back. This is so stunning. It is elegant. It's 
uplifting. It's vanilla. It's sandalwood. There's um, champagne, white freesia, pink praline, lush nectarine, sandalwood, and sugared musk. This is like all of Kayali's base perfumes. And if you took a look, the best part of everything from vanilla, 28 from musk, from citrus, from um, what's another one? Oh, I can't think of it. But if you took the best part of all of her like first couple of perfumes and put them all together, you would get Silk Santal. And I love the sandalwood notes. Sandalwood is just a beautiful, creamy, gorgeous note. Oh, this is just femininity. Love this fragrance. It's stunning. It's warm. It's sexy. It's bright. It's inviting. I feel like you could wear this all year round. Specifically in the summertime, I'm so glad she launched this in the summertime. This collection, I love both of them. I love Silk Santal and I love um, Velvet Santal as well. But Silk Santal, that she came and she she did what she had to do. I, as you can see, I'm already halfway through this bottle. I had to force myself to stop using it because I was like, if this is what I have to hold on to for the rest of my life, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this in like 2.5 seconds so I had to pause and luckily she redropped it like a couple weeks later I saw that it was back in stock on Kaoli and when I tell you I've never ordered a backup perfume so fast in my life I have a backup of this thank god and I'm so happy I do because when I tell you this is one of those perfumes you just gotta have in your collection it's just stunning it's gorgeous I don't think I've seen one person who did not like Silk Santal this was one of the best, best perfume launches of 2023, hands down, for sure. I know a lot, a lot of us really enjoy this and I just had to give credit where credit is deserved and due because this is just a stunning, gorgeous fragrance. And I'm sure if you've never smelled it before, I hope you can get a chance to smell it because it will really change your life. It's just one of those fragrances. It will really change your life. The next Kaoli fragrance that I feel deserves just as much attention and I would say I don't know if enough people talk about it. It's one of her recent launches. It's part of the Oud collection that she came out with that came out with four different Oud fragrances but in my opinion this was my favorite and I really really fell in love with it. It's very unique. It's very gorgeous. It's blended really really well. It's creamy. It's fresh. It's coffee. It's, it's just a little bit of everything and it's just so unique. I love fragrances that don't smell like anything else I've ever smelled before or that I don't have in my collection. I am talking about Kaoli's Oudgasm Cafe Oud. This one, mmm. Oof. If you love coffee, if you love oud, there's rose in here, there's cappuccino, there's geranium, there's rose de messina, white musk, vanilla, and oud. You get all of that. I was a little nervous because I'm not really a rose girl. I don't care for rose heavy fragrances they just I don't know they just don't smell they don't sit well with my with my senses but this is blended so well you smell the oud it's very creamy it's not harsh or like bit like bitter or just like you know it's coffee it's creamy it's you have a hint of rose like it's just grown and warm and just oh it's beautiful it's gorgeous I think in my opinion, I feel like this is what smell. This is my favorite from the entire collection. I know a lot of people love vanilla oud. Vanilla oud was nice. It's just I feel like it could have been better. But cafe oud, perfection, perfection. If you guys have not smelled cafe oud, I highly recommend for you guys to. If you love coffee fragrances, you're gonna love this. It's not heavy coffee. I feel like it's a a great balance of all the notes. Like it's just blended really, really well and just just stunning. It's stunning and one of my favorites from last year that every out of everything that they launched from last year this definitely was one of my favorites for sure and I had to mention it in my top 2023 fragrances all right you guys we made it to the last two we've made it to the last two this next one is just it's just I don't even know like just love at first sniff Love that everything. I just love, 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 love this fragrance. It is vanilla based, okay? So it will be my best of vanilla videos, but I'm talking about none other than Parfums de Marly Altair. I think it's called Altair, whatever. Perfumes de Marly Altair. 
Oh, it smells so good. It's unisex. In my opinion, I don't know why they put it in the men's bottle because I feel like a lot of women really, really, really fell in love with this. I see a lot of men that love it as well, but the girls really, we really took over this perfume, honestly. I know it's unisex, but I see more women talk about it than men, but men do love it as well, so don't get me wrong. But this fragrance is just a warm, cozy, spicy, but not like harsh spicy, very smooth spicy, like, ooh, Jesus. Oh, this smells so, so, so good, and it lasts so so long on your skin it wears really really well everything about this fragrance is just gorgeous it's a cozy vanilla scent but when I say cozy you may think like oh it's cute it's warm no 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 she's sexy okay she's inviting she's very I'm you're gonna smell me like she's bold but also so warm and just soft at the same time like it's so hard to describe this scent, but it's beautiful. I would say if you love a warm, vanilla, spicy kind of scent, you're going to be obsessed. Obsessed with this. If I, you've seen me talk about this on my channel a ton. And I just had to mention it because it is one of the best launches, in my opinion, of 2023. As all these others are. But Parfums de Marley, you guys did your damn thing with this. This and um, Delina Exclusive are my two favorites from that house. Hands down. Love, love, love this. Get your hands on out there. Get your nose on it if you've not already. Get a sample. It is a bit pricey. I got mine from... Oh, God. I'm looking at how much I've used already. I need to slow down. I need to slow down because I'm not trying to buy this anytime soon. <laughs> but this is so good, you guys. Highly recommend if you're a vanilla lover and you love warm, cozy, spicy scents. You're going to be obsessed with this. Alrighty, guys. We've made it to the last one. Last but not least, this is the most newest fragrance to my collection it did come out in the end of 2023 i'm talking about like maybe the last two weeks of 2023 and it's made it to this video so that speaks volumes okay this is a middle eastern fragrance house it's very very affordable this fragrance a lot of people are talking about it right now and it deserves it deserves the love it deserves the love because it's stunning it's a flanker maybe that gives you a hint I am talking about Latafa's Kamra Kawa. I recently got this three weeks ago, so it's my most newest fragrance in my collection, and I already included it in this video. That, if that doesn't tell you anything, I don't know what will. This is stunning. Of course, we all know Latafa's Kamra. The dupe for Angel Share, but I think I like, I like it better than Angel Share in my opinion, but they came out with the flanker of camera which we already love and i heard that this is more coffee based and it is more feminine and i was like you know what i gotta get my nose on this first of all it's the same packaging as camera but it is different the juice is different it's more of like a gold instead of like a orangey juice this is how the packaging looks like they did fix the top so we don't have to deal with that crazy twist off top that camera is so i'm glad that they upgraded the packaging and listened to us and our frustrations with the top so the top is great but none of it's not about the top the juice oh now i will say it's a flanker of camera so you do have camera dna in here but i will say this is definitely a bit more different than camera camera in my opinion is more woody spicy this is more sweet and it leans coffee, more creamy. So you still get the hints of Kamra DNA, but just amp up the sweetness, more creamier, take away the woodiness, and add coffee. This is stunning. I think a lot of more people would prefer Kamra Kawa over Kamra. They're both amazing, but this, in my opinion, I feel like is more crowd pleasing because it's a bit more creamier, it's a bit more approachable, it's not as woody, it's not as spicy as Kamra. And if you love coffee, this has plenty of it in it, okay? It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Longevity is amazing. It lasts all freaking day. Oh, I love this fragrance. Oh, it smells so, so, so good. I had to include it in this video and it's so affordable. It's less than $50. You can get it at Amazon. I will link all of these perfumes in the description box down below. But this is the most affordable one out of the list I've mentioned today and it's well-deserving. I think everyone should have this in their collection. If you love Kamra, you're going to be, I think, even more obsessed with Kamra Kawa. So 
If you guys are interested in getting it, I'm here to tell you it's worth it and you should definitely pick it up because it was one of the last few launches of 2023 and they did the damn thing with this. Let's talk about you guys killed it with this. It smells so, so, so good and I'm obsessed. Alrighty guys, that is it. These are all the fragrances that I absolutely loved and fell in love with that launched in the year of 2023. I will link every single one of these fragrances in the description box down below. So if you're interested in picking them up, click the link. It'll take you exactly where you need to go to check out and grab it and add it to your collection. Every single one of these fragrances are to die for. They're all very different from each other, very unique, but they all came and made a statement and they are just beautiful. I absolutely fell in love with every single one of these fragrances for their own reason and they're all favorites in my collection. And I think last year was definitely the year of fragrances. It's in regards to myself. I added a lot of new fragrances to my collection and grew my collection a lot and really dove into niche fragrances house. And I cannot look back. I have been sucked into the fragrance world and I am here to stay. I hope you guys enjoyed this fragrance video. I hope you enjoyed my roundup of my favorite of 2023 comment down below and let me know if you guys have any of these in your collection or if you agree with some of my thoughts and how i felt about them like i said i will link every single one of these fragrances in the description box so make sure you guys check them out or get your nose on it and grab it because you gotta have these these are these are staples i feel like and they are just heavy hitters okay and i think they will always be heavy hitters because they're just that good if this is your first time watching me i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you scroll down below you tap that subscribe button so you can join our family and also hit that notification bell so you're notified when i will be uploading next make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love fragrance content because i will be making more okay so i need to know if you guys love these videos so i can make more fragrance related videos for you guys in the near future thank you thank you guys once again i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on the next one Bye.